Hello! Today we are going to wrap up our study of Judges with uh, chapter 21. To recap, chapter 19 we introduced the story of a, Le a Levite and his concubine. The Levite is traveling with his wife and they had gone to the wife's house, her father's house, and after a visit there, which you'll have to go back and go back to the study of chapter 19 and get the whole story, he's headed home. And as they're headed back home, they stop in a town of Gibeah. And there they run into some trouble. They're invited to stay at the home of a man, but the city is very immoral and corrupt and godless, shall we say. And the men want to pull the Levite out and rape him. And instead, he allows his wife to be taken. And she's raped all night long and left for dead. And she does, in fact, die. He then cuts up all the pieces and sends one piece to each of the 12 tribes of Israel. Chapter 20 tells of the battle of the Israelites and the Benjamites because the town of Gibeah is of the tribe of Benjamin, and the Benjamites defend the men of the town of Gibeah. And there's a three-part battle that's told in chapter 20, uh, the details of the battle, but in the end, 600 Benjamites survive, and all of the rest of the Benjamites, women and children and animals and everybody, are all wiped out. Chapter 21 tells us that the men of Israel are very sad and remorseful about the state of affairs because they've lost, effectively they've lost one of the, one of the 12 tribe. Because with 600 men, all of the Israelites have sworn that they're not going to give any women to these men. No, nobody from their tribe will be given in marriage to the 600 Benjamites who survived. But they get together and they realize that uh, there was one particular group that was absent from them when they met in Mitzpah and made this pact among the, amongst themselves. They made a pact that none of their wives or none of their daughters would be given in marriage to the Benjamites but they also said that if anybody is not there, if anybody hadn't come together to fight the evil that was coming from the tribe of Benjamin, that the people who didn't fight would also be killed. So what they end up doing is they go and they kill all of the people of the tribe of Jabesh Gilead because none of the people had come to the gathering at Mitzpah. They kill all of the men and all of the non-virginal women, but all of the virgins are spared, and there are 400 women who were spared. Then the whole assembly sent an offer of peace to the Benjamites at the Rock of Rimmon. So the Benjamites returned at that time and basically returned to the collective 12 tribes of Israel. The people still grieved for Benjamin because of the gap created. And even with the 400 women, there were still 200 men, Benjamin men, who did not have wives. And so what they decided is that the people of Shiloh were going to have their annual festival of the Lord. And they told the Benjamites to go out there and lay in wait and as the women went to go celebrate um, as the girls of Shiloh came out to join the dancing they told the men of Benjamin to seize the girls and take them for their wives and they said when the fathers or brothers complain we'll say to them do us a kindness by helping them because we did not get wives for them during the war and you're innocent because you did not give them your daughters so the pact was that you can't give your daughter to the people of the men of Benjamin but the men of Benjamin could apparently seize a daughter and that would be okay so that's what happened and that's how the people of the Benjamin tribe were able to recover from the decimation that came following their defense of the immoral men of Gibeah. 
And Judges ends with, at that time, the Israelites left that place because apparently they'd been gone from home about five months. And all, all, they went, all went home to their tribes and clans, each to his own inheritance. In those days, Israel had no king. Everyone did as he saw fit. And this is certainly a story that is ironic in the things that the men... The, the tribes do, apparently, being varied by the book and by the law of how things are supposed to happen, and also the wildness and bad behavior that comes from the lawlessness of the time. And for myself, I always look and think about today and where we're at today and how much um, lawlessness there is or disregard for God's will. Because certainly the only thing that matters is what does God want for us as individuals? And that's the rule we need to go by. <clears throat> Certainly not looking for loopholes or ways to go do whatever it is we want to do. So anyway, there ends Judges. I hope you have a blessed week. Bye.